Hey, welcome back to uh, Drafting Tutorials. My name is Casey. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be covering the topic of uh, X-reference uh, drawings. And just to get started here, uh, an X-referenced drawing is a uh, DWG, a raster image, DWF, uh, DGN, uh, PDF. So any type of drawing or image uh, that you want to bring into a host uh, drawing. All right, so the host drawing is what you're looking at right now. Um, now, this is different than actually inserting a block or an image into the host drawing. Um, and the reason why is because with an X reference drawing, what you're doing is bringing a referenced image uh, or drawing into the host file, and any changes that are made on the X referenced drawing. So this X reference drawing is coming from a different file. All right, it's not coming from this kitchen lab file. It's coming from a different location. And any changes that are made to the uh, the uh, X referenced file in a different location, they're going to update uh, in the hosted file here or this drawing. So just to give you an example uh, of how to go about. Uh, X referencing, you're just going to type in XREF in the command. Uh, click on XREF, and from here, you can go up here to uh, attach DWG. So you can attach an image, a drawing, DGN, PDF, like I was talking about. We're just going to attach a drawing, and it'll bring you into a, uh, a file folder, you know, and, and basically from here you can go into um, your network and locate from a location you can locate uh, whatever referenced drawing it is that you want to bring in so just to give you an example here I'm going to bring this drawing in uh, now you can do a full path or relative path I'm not going to explain that just for the sake of keeping this video rather short I'll cover that in a later video we'll just stick with full path right now um, and again you can change like the uh, the points here on the scale and all that I'm not going to do that we're just going to bring it in as a reference okay so it's just a reference and we're going to hit click on the left mouse and then close this and what you'll see here is this drawing which is being referenced from that location and it acts like a block because if I click on it it highlights the entire thing all right, so you can't make any changes really to the referenced uh, drawing here. If you wanted to make those changes, you would actually have to go back into the location that you found it. All right, so I'd have to go back in here to uh, my folder and pull up the lab, which is lab five. I'd have to pull that up, that actual drawing, and make my modifications there. But the reason why it's it's a decent tool to use when you're working on multiple projects, if you got multiple users who are all working on the same project, you can reference these drawings in, uh, say on another sheet, and any changes that that they make uh, to that drawing are going to update in your drawings as well. All right, so you don't have to go about you know sending one sending this drawing to multiple people and having them update and do the same exact thing that you did. So it saves time and it's it's more efficient way of doing things when you're working on projects. Uh, anyways, if you like what you're seeing here, go ahead and hit the like button. You can subscribe to the channel as well. I'll be covering more topics on AutoCAD, Revit, and Inventor. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you.